Time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor, Nick Day, who is also the editor of Coindesk's The State of Crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick, as always. So the U.S. government has sanctioned a cryptocurrency exchange for the first time. Give us the details. Good morning. Yes, yesterday the United States Treasury Department announced that it was filing sanctions against SUEX.io, which is uh, nominally a, a Czech Republic-based exchange, but it appears its offices are actually in uh, a couple cities in Russia. It does not appear to have a physical presence in the Czech Republic. And the Treasury Department's placing these sanctions on allegations that up to 40% of SUEX's uh, transactions are basically, you know, to or from uh, addresses associated with malicious actors, including uh, quite a bit of ransomware proceeds. So this is kind of the first step in the U.S. government's ongoing fight against ransomware. And basically what they're saying is, you know, no U.S. persons are allowed to transact with SUEX. No U.S. persons are allowed to, you know, do any kind of business with them. Any property will be seized. And, you know, they're trying to block SUEX out of the, uh, you know, any part of the American financial system. Uh, Nick, Gary Gensler made a range of comments uh, yesterday. What, in your view, is the greatest takeaway? So a lot of what he said kind of, you know, retreaded stuff he said before, uh, you know, joking about, uh, you know, quote, spilling IL-3 or, you know, possible wildcat banking. But you know, what really struck me is um, he made a comment uh, at some point about how he doesn't think, you know, a lot of crypto is really going to last which kind of seems at odds with his previous remarks when he was uh, lecturing on crypto at MIT. Um, you know, he made a comparison to private monies and noted that private monies generally don't last, but, uh, you know, maybe he has a point, but he is also, you know, arguably one of the most powerful regulators who has the you know ability to kind of make this determination within, uh, you know, whatever regulatory framework he you know, unveils ultimately, or how the SEC approaches regulations around crypto. So it definitely seemed to me to be a very telling comment. You know, Gary Gensler came into the fray and and very knowledgeable of blockchain. Everyone knew him as the, the professor at MIT talking blockchain and uh, courses, teaching blockchain courses. And, and there was a, a kind of a theory that potentially he would introduce some more crypto friendly regulations, understanding the technology and the innovative potential it has but but is that is that so are are, are people you know now people are, are not so sure yeah this is uh something i think i even wrote about back when he was first nominated or confirmed um yeah it, you know i i think a more nuanced view would have been you know whatever he does will be more and better informed than you know previous uh heads at the sec but um, you know, if you look back to his tenure at the Commodities Futures Trading uh, Commission, uh, he did a lot. He had a lot of work in just building out new regulations around derivatives products and complex derivatives products and, you know, basically trying to rein in, you know, what at the time would have seen like a pretty, uh, you know, wild sector of the financial market. So I think, you know, if you look back at his tenure, this shouldn't be too much of a surprise that he's come out, you know, making all these claims and the statements about crypto regulation. But um, I'd also, I think uh, I should point out that he hasn't actually, you know, instituted any of these regulatory reforms yet. So, you know, we have yet to see if he is, uh, if his bite matches his bark or if this is kind of the warning shot uh, to try and get the crypto industry to rein itself in on some of the, uh, you know, more questionable parts that he has pointed out. And, uh, you know, it's very possible that he still has yet to, you know, however he defines the actual regulations, if there's guidance or if there's more enforcement actions or whatever, um, you know, those might be a bit more tailored than the kind of wide net he's been casting uh, around the sector as a whole.